for the serious gamer. Hey, hey, Next Gen Tactics, it's Guns for Hire. This is the Camp NGT series where I show you ideal places to hunker down, get some kills, and uh, basically just fend off the evil bad bad guys. And broadcast, and the broadcast actually there's a couple of places that I really like, but this one here is pretty easy to do, and of course when you're doing camping, you need protection, automatic protection in the form of claymores. If you were in World at War, you'd be using Bettys, which I think are actually more effective. Uh, nonetheless, you do want to have Claymores equipped. And then basically, the first thing I'm going to do when I come out there, because there's two pathways that the enemy is going to possibly take, which is the top here, which is what I'm trying to get hits on. Uh, and of course, I'm using, I believe, the M16 with Red Dot, because it's incredibly accurate and uh, usually a one burst kill, just like that. <coughs> And the other place uh, to get kills is actually where I was shooting across there. If the enemy's fast enough, uh, typically they're going to actually shoot from that second floor in the uh, the opening there in the main lobby area, um, which is in sort of in the direction I'm heading right now. Uh, I got problems. Oh, I do have problems. Right in here. This is where I was talking about. Uh... This, you know, if they're fast, they're going to actually come up on the top level there and sort of swing around the outside. Usually a sniper, right right where I'm running right now, this is usually where the sniper will hit. And this is actually one of my second... Uh, I, I went past it, though, but there's a, a spot in there. Maybe I'm actually going to go back. I don't know how well I do in this camping spot, but I absolutely... I can hold this and usually get uh, chopper gunner... Or not chopper gunner. Jesus, Modern Warfare 2 all over the place. Right here is where I sit. There's a spot here that you can actually sort of, you move and it'll stop and it'll hold you right in there. You're able to kill people back in the spot where I was before, which is why I looked over here. I looked over here because normally I'm looking for dudes like myself in here. And, uh, oh, do I get that guy? Yes. I find it incredibly easy to get uh, a helicopter in this one or a chopper. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Helicopter sounds kind of geeky chopper i call in the chopper and it kills everybody so this is the second place the other place is where i'd hunker down and like i said before you want to make sure you have claymores i put the claymores just in case i'm distracted which is what i'm doing right here uh, i put the claymore in the other um staircase to my left and then forward left which is where i killed that guy who was jumping all over the place he thought it was halo um but anyway <clears throat> I don't even kill this guy. I'm running out of ammo. Now I'm in trouble. I need a weapon. This is where I'd usually put the other claymore right here. But I don't know. I think I'm all out of claymores. Yes, I am. So I would protect it only so that I can actually concentrate. And if I saw anyone on the ground, then I would be able to uh, to nail them. Nail them. I always say that, don't I? I'd be on the ground and I would be able to kill them, destroy them. And, uh, you know what, once I'm, I've made a few kills out there, then I tend to move. There's no point. I mean, once you got a helicopter, um, there's that geeky thing again. Once you get a chopper, you call in your chopper, then it's time to move around. And typically, I'll move around, but sometimes I'll just swing back, like I'll do a, a loop inside. Because what happens is, if you've made kills, especially seven kills, uh, from a certain location up, up at the top there... You've got potentially seven people that are going to be coming looking for you. Yeah, you know, granted, you know, you've got some... Oh, there we go. There's uh, the helicopter. See, it's helicopter. It's not geeky. It's just technically right. Oh, do I die? Do I die? Oh, my... Oh, my martyrdom. Not a fan of martyrdom. It's in the game. I'll use it if I want. Yes, I heard that. That's what uh, Fisher from NGT Elite said. It's in the game, I'll use it if I want. And I said, if you say that again, I'll kick you off the team. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that to any of you guys. I'll kick you off. You you stop watching it. I wouldn't do that anyway. You're entitled to your opinion, even if it is dead wrong. <laughs> Whatever. So anyway, I've decided to move back here. Once I die, I shift it back. I mean, this is uh, Camp Central. The problem is, is that the guys that were in here before and maybe were getting killed, and this is actually, and it's just as effective if you're a sniper as well, uh, and you want to do some hard scoping, if you watch uh, my Optic Fubar uh, videos, 
you'd see that I'm all about the hard scoping. And these locations here, any of the camp locations are actually super ideal for um, hard scoping. Because you're protected. You're protected by... Oh, I'm already low, man. I spray way too much. I should not be low on ammo. I mean, it's a one burst kill for Pete's sake in COD 4 with the M16. And now I gotta use this thing. Probably not gonna be too effective. I don't know where I'm going. Camp guns. Camp. That's the whole point of this. Camp. Oh, well, whatever. These guys are all crazy hopped up. I don't know if... I, do I actually even get any kills here? Um, yeah, so we're not camping anymore. But anyway, it's the end of the game. I showed you the two. That's really where you want to be. Yeah, gun them down, gun them down. Eh, it's pretty easy. When you camp, it's not that hard. But finding good camping spots and getting lots of kills is the key. It's not hiding in the closet. It's not, you know, covering off one alleyway. It's holding down a certain part of the uh, map and wreaking havoc on your enemy. Anyway, I'm Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. Peace.